Hey guys, what's going on? This is Chunji Akma, and I just got back from the RTX of 2014, which is the Rooster Teeth Expo. This is the first convention I've ever been to, and they've only been doing this for four years. The first year they did this, they had 100 people show up, and it was all outside. Three years later, Rooster Teeth has over 30,000 people show up to their convention, and it's in a ginormous convention center. It was friggin' awesome. Now, I'm going to show you guys what I did while I was there, and just a little disclaimer. These pictures and videos actually came from my cell phone, so it might be a little shady here and there, but it's awesome. You guys are going to love it, so check it out. Welcome to the main stage. This is where the biggest and best things happen, such as live podcasts and panels. This room fits about 4,000 people, and to even get the opportunity to enter this room, you had to wait in a line. Now, this isn't your average line at Walmart. This is a line that wraps around the entire convention center. Now, if you wanted the opportunity to get into this main stage, you had to get up approximately three hours early to get to the convention center just to wait into these lines. Now, that wasn't even the half of it. Once you got into this line, you'd actually be forced into a room that had 12 pins. Now, once you're in one of these 12 pins, this basically guaranteed that you would be getting into the main stage, so you'd get a seat, even if it was in the back. Now, since this is a pretty large area, some weird crap's gonna happen, like this. <laughs> Now, uh, excuse my language, but I'm pretty sure they deemed this the fuck train and there was no way in or way out. So everyone's just getting, uh, you know. But there was some pretty cool stuff, such as, well, you know, the normal wave. Bounce back and forth and have some fun time. So on the record, three. One, two, three. But probably my favorite part of this entire thing when I was in the main stage was this guy. This guy's the camera guy. And he's the guy that does the close-ups on the panels and the close-up of the audience when they're asking questions. Now, in a normal day, this guy is just overlooked. No one really notices him. But when you're at a convention, this guy is the shit. Now, when I mean he's the shit, I mean the entire audience exploded when this guy walked out from behind the curtain. Everyone was cheering, camera guy, camera guy. It was amazing. I could not believe that this audience was cheering for this guy, just an average guy. They even got in line to get his autograph. Man, that is an amazing feeling. I was really, really proud of the entire convention. I'm not going to lie to you. Now, not only was there some sweet things like the fuck train or the camera guy, the people who were actually on the panel were trolling the hell out of each other. Now, this guy here, Gus, was gonna troll this guy, Gavin. Now, take a look, it's pretty funny. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Rooster Teeth Podcast panel. I am your host, Gus Sorolla. Mr. Bernie Burns. <laughs> and of course, from Achievement Hunter, the irrepressible, I don't know what that means, <laughs> Mr. Jack Patillo. Slow-mo guys, you know him, you love him, your favorite creeper, Mr. Gavin Free! <laughs> we worked, how long did we work on that? Forever! <laughs> that was awesome. This, this dude right here, he's the one guy who was allowed to clap for you, Gavin. This one dude right there, we came out to do a rehearsal, he was the one guy who had left and gone to the bathroom. <laughs> what are these? What are the fucking odds? <laughs> Can you believe that he got the entire crowd to not say a thing when he introduced Gavin, one of the main people on this entire live panel? It was pretty funny, everyone laughed, and it was a good time. Not only that, but I actually got to use this entire area and on the big screens watch a show called Ruby. Now, the Ruby was created by Rooster Teeth and it is pretty amazing. If you haven't seen it and you can get past the graphics, it is amazing. The fight scenes are great, check it out. We actually got to see the entire show and it was about an hour, hour and a half, it was great. 
I also actually got to see Achievement Hunters, and this is, was their opening video. It was actually pretty cool. And after this long day and waiting in all those lines, you're probably going to be tired. So, I mean, you can use yourself to sleep like this guy. Or you can use your friend like this one. Or my favorite, you can just use the floor, <laughs> which is pretty funny. Not only that, but you guys should go to a cosplay competition. Now, I've never been to one and I didn't know what to expect, but apparently they had a lot more competitors this year than they've ever had before. We only had one hour to get through it, and there were so many different types of people. There was people in Mass Effect costumes, Ghost costumes, The Last Airbender, Ruby, and tons of people in Halo. Not only that, but these Halo guys were some sort of dance team. Look at this. <laughs> Not only were there the Halo dancers, but there was boys dressed like girls, girls dressed like boys, and and th someone dressed like this? What the crap is that? I, I really don't know, to be honest with you. I don't. <laughs> I don't know, but it's awesome. Yes, yes. These two are actually the finalists in the male section, and that hammer that that guy is using right there is real. It was actually heavy, and when he dropped it two inches above the ground, it made a ginormous ta tink It was pretty cool. I actually enjoyed it quite a bit i give that guy some props regardless the other guy is dressed as quail man if you recognize him and he did the movie guy voice to introduce himself you know the guy who says in a world now i can't really do it because i don't have that kind of voice but it was pretty awesome take my word for it in the end these two are the ones that actually won and they both received 100 dollars itunes gift cards not bad right now, if you had nothing to do on the main stage and there's no contest going on, you could actually just go to this place called the Expo Floor. This had tons and tons of different types of booths, from indie games to big screen battles of Smite and Halo to large statues. I think this one's called the Tower of Pimps, if I'm right. Yeah, regardless, there was so much to see. I didn't have time to stop at every single one of these booths, but I got a majority of them, and they were pretty freaking awesome. I've never been to any type of convention before, but this was definitely something I'd highly recommend everyone does at least once in their life. Heck, even if you don't even know who Rooster Teeth really is, like me, I only knew them in name to be honest with you when I went, but it was totally worth it. I haven't had this much fun in a really, really long time and I was really glad that I actually went. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this little video of my experience at RTX of 2014. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible guys. As always, I'll see you guys next time.